All right, number four, um, we want to find the distance between uh, D, P1, P2, uh, the given points. So uh, here we have a graphic, an image of where those points are. And then um, the points we have are 0, 0, and uh, 3, 2. Okay, so <clears throat> let's write down those two points. 0, 0, and we have the point 3, 2. The distance formula, let's remind ourselves of what that is. It is a big square root, and then parentheses x2 minus x1, quantity squared, plus we have y2 minus y1 quantity squared and all you need to do is um, label them so the first one is going to be x1 and y1 and then the second order pair x2 and y2 it doesn't matter um, if you put this point first or that one first it, it will all come out the same because if you get a negative like I said you will square it and then everything will be positive all right, so let's work it out. Square root. Um, so x2 is 3 minus x1, which is 0. So the first two points, this minus this, 3 minus 0. This is going to get squared. We're going to add to that the 2y value, so it'll be 2 minus 0. This gets squared. So when you're dealing with the origin, it's really nice. You get these zeros and some nice numbers. So continuing, we get the square root. 3 minus 0 is 3. So we're looking at 3 squared plus 2 squared. All right, now we're looking at the square root of 3 squared, which is 9 plus 2 squared which is 4 and then that will give us 9 plus 4 square root of 13 and we can leave it in this form this will be the exact distance from those two points so if we converted it to a decimal um, perfect square uh, 3 is 9 and then the next perfect square is 4 which is 16 so this number would be between 3 and 4 3 point something uh, probably closer to closer to 4 than it is to 3 since this number is closer to 16 than it is to 9 so um, it says type exact answer using radicals right here as needed so we don't want a decimal we want it um, in radical form so we want square root of 13